Hello everyone, today's topic is pronouns. Now, how to introduce the lesson pronouns? I have selected a very unique way. Okay, so this is letter N. Say hi to him. Yeah, now here comes letter P. Now, there is a small conversation that these friends are going to do. Okay, so he says, hi friends. He's telling you, hi friends. I am nouns. You know me, right? Yes, of course. I have taught you what are nouns, right? So he's telling you know me. This is my friend pronouns. I call him P. So the letter P, you can see he's shaking his hand. Yeah, he's moving his hand, waving his hand. So he is P. He is friend of noun. P is my best, best friend. Even you have your best, best friend, right? So, P is best, best friend of N. P always helps me out when I get repeated many times in a sentence. You want to see how? Now, with one example, we'll know how P helps N. Okay? So, now, before proceeding further, if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell icon to get our new videos. Now, this is Rahul. Okay, Rahul is a software engineer. Most of your parents, yes, they must be a software engineer. So, you know this word, right? So, Rahul is a software engineer. Rahul stays in Bangalore. Rahul works for Wipro. Rahul is a hard worker. Rahul lives with his, Ra, uh, sorry, with Rahul's family. Rahul has a car. Now, all these yellow colored words are noun. You know very well, Rahul. It's a name of a person. So, just see in his introduction, how many times we have used the same word again and again and again. Can we count? Yeah, see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times we have said Rahul. See, first line is needed because you don't know who is that person, right? So, first Rahul is correct. But later on we use Rahul seven times. It is so boring, right? So now how P is going to help? Once again we will read. This is Rahul. He is a software engineer. He stays in Bangalore. He works for Wipro. He is a hard worker. He lives with his family, Rahul has a car. So, see children, all those seven times Rahul were repeated, we have replaced them with the word he. So, what is this word he? Yes, the word he is a pronoun, which noun told, right? Noun told that pronoun is a friend, his best best friend and he helps him out when he gets repeated in a sentence many times. So like, so, like this, we use pronouns in a sentence when we get nouns repeated. Okay. So, let us see what are pronouns. Words used in the place of nouns are called pronouns. Then, when we talk about one, we use the pronouns I, me, you, he, she, it, her, him. Now, when we speak about grammar each and every time, we have to make changes in the sentences in the form of singular and plural. Whenever we have sentence in singular, we use different words. Whenever the sentence in plural form, we use different words. Okay. So, here that's why this line is given that when pronouns, uh, we speak about one person that is singular, we use this red colored pronoun. Okay. When we talk about more than one, that is plural form, we use the pronouns like we, yes. When we say we means it includes you and somebody else. Then us, <coughs> again you and many people. They, when you are talking about somebody else as a third person. And them, okay. 
then comes the pronoun you is used for one as well as for more than one only you is a pronoun which you can use for one person or more than one singular or plural you can use for both okay now yes you can see a girl there deepti is a girl she is very kind see she is helping her mother out in doing kitchen work so she is very kind purple colored word are pronouns so deepti is a girl in first line you have to tell the noun okay otherwise you will not know who is that person but when it comes in second sentence that time you have to use the pronoun next yeah what is it this is a table it is made of wood again now when we speak about non living thing we use it it next sanjay is an actor yeah you can see the face mask there sanjay is an actor everyone looks at him so him is a pronoun here and children are running they are in a park now children when i say children means it's more than one you can see three children there that's why you should use they for plural form then comes the last sentence <coughs> sudha has long hair her hair is brown in color so sudha is a girl so i am talking about sudha that's why it is her hair if i would have told some boy you were you would have used his okay so her his it makes a difference he she to make the difference in the gender okay now let us see in detail now see this girl she is used in the place of noun which noun we used she deepti very good then it is used in the place of table for table which which uh, pronoun we used it then comes yeah he is a sanjay so him is used in the place of sanjay very good then comes they is used in the place of noun which noun children yes very good last one her is used in the place of noun which noun sudha you can copy down these answers in your book they have asked the same type of questions i have shown with the help of pictures so you can write down the answers there okay now next is one of the video i have tried to cover up the pronoun you just look very carefully and understand the concept it is used for the naming word of a thing an animal a bird or a place taj mahal is in agra it is a beautiful building it is white in color nancy went to visit it with her father they had elephant ride it is a large animal it is funny to ride an elephant it eats a lot of grass nancy bought a puppet from there It is colorful. It makes a noise. Nancy shall play with it. Have you seen how many times it is used in the above paragraph? It is used for Taj Mahal, naming word of a place, elephant, naming word of an animal, puppet, naming word of a thing. You have a beautiful doll. You have a lot of friends. You come to my home every day. You love to eat mango. I, you, he, she, it. Lucy is a girl. She learns quickly through learn quick digital classes. She is 6 years old. Lucy is John's sister. Mandy is Lucy's mother. She is a beautiful woman. John is Lucy's brother. He is a good boy who studies in class 3rd.
He plays with his friends. He loves Lucy very much. He obeys his parents. Dean is father of Lucy and John. He works in a hospital. He cures patients. He is a doctor. He cures patients. He is Mandy's husband. He is a caring father. He is a handsome man. The words man, brother, boy, father can be replaced by he. The words woman, sister, girl, mother can be replaced by she. When you want to tell something about yourself. I am Sam. I study in grade one. I wake up early in the morning. I love my parents. I have a pet. I respect my elders. I love my young ones. I eat healthy food. I read moral stories. I enjoy watching dance show on TV. I go to school by bus. You must have understood now uh, how we have to use different pronouns for different gender. Okay, like for boys, for male gender, we use he, for girls, female gender, we use she. And when you are speaking about yourself, we should use I. And when you are talking about some non living thing or animals, and even for small babies, we say it. <coughs> okay, and when we talk about somebody along with us, we say we. When you are talking about somebody else, you can use you or they. Okay. So, here, is, here are the answers. Here is Deepti's place. The spelling is being wrong. You can just correct it writing D-E-E-P-T-I. Okay. Now, next, let me move on. I have already taught you this. So, let me move on ahead with the next page here. Uh, there is a family photograph. You need to fill in the blanks using correct pronoun. You can see it's, it's on page number 35. This is my family photograph. Dash is an old one when I was only 8 years old. Now, uh, dash means you have to use the pronoun for photograph. So, which pronoun you, is, you will use for photograph? It's a non-living thing. So, it. Yeah, it is an old one when I was only 8 years old. The boy next to me is my brother. Dash is very loving. So, for my brother, which pronoun you will use? He. Very good. Dash is older than me. Again, we are talking about my brother. So, he. He is older than me. The lady in sari is my grandma. Dash is very strict. My grandma. So, for my grandma, which pronoun? Yeah, feminine gender. So, she. She is very strict. Again, we are talking about her only. So, dash sometimes even scolds my grandpa. So, same pronoun. She sometimes even scolds my grandpa. Dash is very polite person. Now, about grandpa we are talking. So, he is a very polite person. Here, now again we are going to talk about grandpa. So, he loves dash a lot. Now, see in the picture... Yeah, we are talking about that girl who is the one who is speaking about it. Photograph, okay? So, he loves me a lot. Dash respect him. Again, uh, we are going to talk to, of that girl. So, I respect him. The, the two boys sitting on the sofa are my friends. Dash are twins. So, uh, when we are talking about those two boys, what we are going to say? We are talking about somebody else. So, they are twins. Again, same. They come to play with us every evening. Then, Dash also have a pet dog in our family. Now, she is talking about our family. So, we also have a pet dog in our family. Now, of course, it's an animal. So, it is called Tipsy. Its name is Tipsy. Mama, Papa are not in the picture. Mama, Papa. So for Mama, Papa together, what we will say? They were clicking our photograph. And last but not the least, Dash love my family. So who love my family? We, no, it's I love my family. You can correct your children. That is 
I love my family. Okay. Don't write V there. Instead of V, you make it I love my family at the last. Okay. I'll move ahead now. Next page. Page number 36. Choose the correct pronoun from the bracket and fill in the blanks. Now here in the bracket, they have given the pronoun. You just need to tick the correct option. Gita and Dash sister have gone to market. Now Gita is a girl. So Dash sister, his sister or her sister? Yes, it's her sister because Gita is a girl. A giraffe has long legs. Dash can run fast. Giraffe. Giraffe is an animal. So it can run fast here. You have to write I capital I T it. Sam and Pam are busy. Do not disturb Dash. Now Sam and Pam together. So what we will uh, tell them? Do not disturb them. Yes. Dash I am feeling very happy. Today is my birthday. I am talking about myself. So I am very happy. Today is my birthday. I told you to be on time. Now don't blame Dash. So when I am talking about me, what I will say? Me. Yes. So don't blame me. Keep it up. Dash are doing very well. You. Yes. You will never start a sentence with us. Okay. So you are doing very well. This is Rama. She is a dancer. Dash are playing together. Yeah, they are playing together. Dash are having party tonight. So, as I said, us will never start the sentence. Okay. So, we are having a party tonight. They have invited Dash for the dance session. Now, here you will use us. They have invited us for the dance session. So children can you see all the answers read carefully all the sentences you read just justify yourself why I cannot use this why I have to use only this word okay I have told you how you have to select the pronoun okay let us move ahead now here it comes the sentence how you have to uh, replace the pronouns in the sentence. This is very very important and, and whenever the question is given like rewrite the sentence you have to rewrite the whole sentence with the answer. Okay, otherwise you will lose your marks even in the worksheets. Rewrite the sentences using pronouns in the place of bold words. Sudhir and I decided that Sudhir and I would go to Nenital. Now two times we are saying Sudhir and I. So instead of Sudhir and I what we can use? V. Very good. So Sudhir and I decided that we would go to Nenital. Okay. Next. Tina says that Tina likes singing. So for girl which pronoun we use? She. So Tina says that she likes singing. Look at the flowers. These flowers are so pretty. So look at the flowers. They are so pretty. Lotus is a national flower. Lotus is pink in color. So lotus is a flower. So lotus is a national flower. It is pink in color. Renu always comes late. The teacher does not like Renu. So now Renu is at the last. She is directing towards the girl. Okay. So you are not going to write the teacher does not like she. You cannot say that sentence. What you will say? Renu always comes late. The teacher does not like her. Okay. And next. Last sentence. Anil and Sunil are failing. Tell Anil and Sunil to work hard. So Anil and Sunil are failing. Tell them to work hard. Okay. So I hope you must have understood. It's all basic pronouns children. Whenever you speak you are using these pronouns. So why do we use such pronouns? What is their importance that you have to understand? And next comes. Uh, as I always end my chapter with an activity, so here also I have tried one activity if possible. There is no compulsion. It's just an optional activity. If you have these things at home, you can just play with your mama, daddy or whoever siblings you have. If they are free, with your, if they, are free they don't have any work, you can just ask them to help, help you out in making this activity. Okay. So materials needed for it is you just have to make one chart. 
uh, with your old books if you have you can just pick some of the pictures and stick them on that chart and you need those tokens which you use in ludo okay and one pencil and one notepad or some book rough book the rules of it how to play just like ludo you have to toss the token on the board with different pictures as i said i have shown you the board so you just have to toss that token on the pictures then whichever picture you get observe the picture on which it lands frame a sentence using pronoun appropriate to that picture without help ask your elder to check the sentences and get maximum score with shining stars okay so see here i have tried to show this type of board you can make yourself okay and you just have to toss one token like this now see my token fell, fell on that girl so i am going to write a sentence like this either she is running or she is jogging so here i have used the pronoun she like this you have to note down uh, the sentences using the pronouns by seeing the picture okay so you can try this game yes so bye bye children for today thank you